It's day 11. It's our day two of our state tour of Minnesota. Uh, we're spending two days in Minnesota just because it's, it's uh, we just don't have enough time to do it in one day. We're going to do that as well in Iowa. We're here with our local farmer and friend, uh, Dwayne Bissonette in Mapleton, Minnesota. Dwayne, thank you for your time. Thank you for this interview. Um, we're looking at your cornfield here. Tell us a little bit about this cornfield. When was it planted? Did you get a lot of moisture? Yep, basically it was, we were in plant, the whole thing was, it was planted 27th of, of May. Okay. April, I'm sorry. April. 27th of April. And um, we were dry, very dry earlier in the year. So pretty much everyone got in the middle of April, okay. end of April. and. Um, other than that, we had some timely rains, not hard rains. So crop overall is looking pretty good. Now, as I've traveled throughout the Midwest, um, we're almost done our tour. We got Iowa, Wisconsin, Michigan left to do. It, it, I've seen a lot of moisture, a lot of drowned out conditions, standing water, more some than others. I'm not noticing that here, though traveling west on I-90, I saw a little bit of that uh, from the highway. Did you guys get too much moisture through May or June? We did, um, it was spotty. There was, we had some rainfalls that were like two inches or better, but all in all, for the most part, it, we stand out pretty well. Okay. Where we didn't have too many, too much water standing at one point. Right. Now, a lot of guys have been complaining about heat, heat units, not enough heat degree days are you getting the heat we're getting the heat not excessive heat but okay. it's not cooling down a lot at night either so that helps okay, okay. yeah there, there's a lot of other complaints about yeah you know, maybe 80 85 during the day but it was too cool at night getting yeah. into that 55 degree weather so and we haven't experienced that so much okay, so okay. that part's working out real well but yeah Really, we don't need that. We don't need the 90 stuff. Just right. the 80s. Right. Um, last year, you had a record crop. Last year was better than average. Not better than average. Okay. Not record. And you're thinking this is about similar Pretty to last much year? It's going to be doable in that. As long as you get some more rain. Maybe not. Yeah, not not necessarily record, but near record. Probably the top five in the top five um, yields okay. over. Okay over history and this particular field uh what are you doing here 30 inch spaces this is just 30 inch spacing yep. what's what's the pop plant population uh, population would be in that 30 uh 34 34, 34. okay yep. all right and soil type uh just a medium 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 clay medium clay know, just okay nothing Nothing extremely heavy or light. Right. So. Now, uh, one of the other theories that has been thrown around is that, you know, to save some money, farmers are applying less nutrients to corn because the price is too low, inputs are too high. Are you seeing that at all around here? Not so much here. Not here, okay. Otherwise, you're just, I just felt, you're just cutting your throat when you do that. Well. To a point. Y you need to make up on yield versus price, right? Right. So. Um, that's going to be your best return on your money, really, in the fertilizer. Right, right. If you get it bought right, sure. Um, yeah, and it's all, it's all, it's all comes down to managing your inputs. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Where you're at, and you cut back on fertilizer too much, and you're cutting back in uh, yield. And, no question. No question. Um, yeah. Well, thank you, Dwayne. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Yes. We're here with Dwayne again. Dwayne, thank you for your time. Uh, we're in uh, one of his soybean fields. We're just north of Mapleton. Uh, and uh, Dwayne, uh, these are some of the best beans I've seen on my tour. They're almost knee high, they're flowering. Yep. Um, looks like you just sprayed this recently, correct? They were just sprayed a short week ago, yep. And um, you got 30 inch rows here? 30 inch rows. Uh, these are all round up. Okay, the red plant two, so. Plant population? Plant population is around 140. 140. So, so are these ahead? You planted when did you say? About the end of, of April. April. Okay. Is that normal for you? A little ahead of schedule. Normally, 
Okay. Normally it's the first week of May most beans get planted. So. Yeah. And had a pretty good, pretty good coverage, pretty good control. And what was your yield last year? Oh, around that 50 bushel. 50. Okay. Yep. That's good. Just just above 50. Okay. So. Thank you. Yep. Thank you so much. No problem.